This is worksheet 10 of the ionic compounds packet, and this is where we finally get to draw some pictures to represent the bonds or the connections that hold the positive metal and the negative nonmetal together. Okay, so like I said, reminder, ionic bonds form between positive ions, those are the metals, and negative ions, those are the nonmetals. And in this type of a bond, this type of a connection, the electrons are not being shared between the positive and the negative ions, the metal and the nonmetal, but instead the anion, the nonmetal, is going to be gaining electrons or stealing them to fill their shell, and the cation is going to be losing electrons or giving them away, right, to try to get rid of that partially full outer shell. So, Let's look at an example, and then you'll be able to do the rest. This first example compound, sodium nitride, we have three sodiums, and we have one nitrogen. That's what the formula tells us. So we're going to draw a Lewis dot diagram of sodium. Right? Sodium is in the first family, so it's got just one valence electron. But we actually have three sodiums, right? That's what our formula tells us. So let's draw three sodiums here. Okay. And we have one nitrogen. So let's draw nitrogen. Nitrogen is in the fifth family of the periodic table. So it's got one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. All right? Okay. Now, if we look at sodium, sodium is not happy having one electron in its outermost shell. And it's certainly going to take way too much energy to try to steal seven more electrons to fill that shell. So it's looking to give away these electrons to anybody who will take them. Nitrogen, on the other hand, already has five electrons. It's not happy. It wants to have eight, but that's reasonably close, right? It's four or more. So it can go ahead and try to steal three more electrons from anybody who it can get them from to fill its outermost shell. Hmm. Well, we're starting to see that it's not a coincidence that three sodiums would then bond with one nitrogen because this sodium can donate an electron and this sodium can donate an electron and this sodium can donate an electron Okay, now I'm going to try to be a good teacher and do this in color so you can see. So this sodium's electron just went over here, right? That was this electron. And this electron here just went over here. And this electron here just went over here. And so now what we have, i switch my colors, we've got sodium. Right, that has a plus one charge because it gave away a negative electron. Okay, now there wasn't just one sodium that did that, right? We're going to put a little three down here to indicate that there were three sodiums that each gave away electrons. And we have nitrogen that now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a total of eight electrons. Okay, well, if it gained three electrons, these little red ones, right, from the sodiums, that means it's got now, didn't quite fit in the box, sorry, a negative three charge. It's got three extra negatively charged things, right? And there's only one nitrogen, so we could put a little one down here, but just like usual, we don't have to put the one. So it's fine to not have it there. Okay, and so that's our sort of final picture of this bond. Now, what holds these things together, these sodiums and these nitrogens? Well, look at. We've got a positively charged thing with the sodium. We've got a negatively charged thing with the nitrogen. We know opposites attract, right? So it's that attraction or that pull between the positive and the negative that now sodium and nitrogen are sort of stuck next to each other because they're attracted to each other like opposite ends of a magnet would be. Okay, so that's our picture of the bonds between sodium and nitrogen and sodium nitride. Okay, um, one little mistake that people tend to make, so I will do this in red, okay, 
Um, a lot of times people will make the mistake that instead of putting a plus one charge here, they'll put a plus three charge. Okay, ignore that for now, right? Why would they put a plus three charge? Well, they're probably thinking, oh, look, this sodium is losing electrons, so that's minus one, and this sodium's losing electron, that's another minus one. This sodium's losing electron, okay, so it, it's lost three electrons, That here's my plus three charge, right? Well, no, what we're saying is that each sodium takes a plus one charge because each sodium loses one electron, and then down here we're accounting for the fact that there are three sodiums. So up here is just the charge of each individual sodium, okay? So uh, go ahead and take a look at the others, and we will continue working on this when you get to class.